Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecraft and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Xbox 360 Edition where today you join me outside my mystical barn because I've just finished shearing my sheep because I need a lot of white wool for today. Um, I've got some white wool, I've got some grey wool, I randomly got blue and red which is from when we built the, um, the, the umbrellas and stuff and I've got some black wool as well which we're going to need for today's build because a few episodes episodes ago, maybe like three or four episodes ago even. Um, you may have thought I've forgotten about it and there's probably comments about it, but um, what's happened is I got distracted by the villager place okay, and you've got to admit, it looks pretty cool. So I'll go up here and go over what we did last time. That bad boy. That's what happened last time. That sand castle, the giant sand castle over there. And I'm recording these in advance because I'm away for this week, so I won't do the vote on the spade just yet, or the shovel. So I'll keep it there for this episode, so at least it's lasted for one episode so um we'll get back to that when i get back and be able to read all of your comments on um what happened with the spade situation whether we're burning it down or leaving it or improving it i guess um but today what we're gonna do is a dog house because i forgot about it i'm not gonna lie i forgot about it because i was distracted by this so let's clear some stuff up shall we because we need to get rid of some stuff and i also need um black wool i've got some here and I need some, I need some light grey dye. I think I'm going to have um, the design up here because I made a little bit of design. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces of um, light grey wool. So we're going to need these ink sacks and some bone meal. We've got some bone meal on us already. Um, and I think we need to make three lots now because, actually, I don't know. Let's have a look. We need light grey. We need two four six eight so we need all four of these unfortunately i think that makes sense yeah eight and then we need to use some of this white wool to be able to cover the rest so yeah we're gonna have to do that i could have in hindsight saved some of those ink sacks because insects are pretty hard to get so i could have saved some of those but i've done it now i've done it now it's all over i've done it um and i need to make some light gray wool and you'll see why um why can't I make light grey? <gasps> oh no. Did I not make the right one? I don't think I made the right one. Oh goodness. Um, okay. Oh thank god for that. I made- Oh I could have saved some ink sacks. Oh I could have saved like two ink sacks. That would have been good. And get out of here. What are you doing? Jumping in my screen. <laughs> uh, right then. I could have saved some there. I thought I was making the light gray straight away. But that's what I get for being a PC Minecraft and majority. So um, anyway, let's make the light gray wool now because now we can. And hopefully we've got enough white wool. But if not, then it's not the end of the world. Because we're going to be able to have um, our sheep at our disposal. Which we now have a nice healthy supply of again. Thank goodness. Let me go and check on them, actually, because I'm always concerned. Why are you outside, sir? Get back in there. He's, he's a mystical... Look, he's a mystical ghost sheep. Oh, it's... it's a, Oh, my God, it's the spirit of the ones that died. Oh, that's, that's weird. That's really weird. But as you can see, we've got loads um, of wool that we have at our disposal now. Thank goodness. And we're going to build this all the way over here because it's going to be nice and interesting. And it's going to be, like, next to this kind of pixel art as well, which is good. And I say pixel art because this is this is gonna be a, a pixel art. Um, it's gonna be a pixel art of a bone, actually. And I think I want to move it one across. So let's do this, this, and then just shave one off the edge of here, and then put it here and here. And this is the start of the bone, and then we need to make it up one, and it might be quite hard to build in survival, actually. But we built the apples, so we should be okay. We're like pros at building weird stuff now. Um, this needs to be... Wait, did I build that right? I don't think I built that right. No, I didn't. Awesome. Good, good job. Good job. Um, it needs to go here, and then here, here. And I'm trying to figure it out now. I'm trying to figure out... Is that okay? Oh, it's so confusing. Right, we need it to go... That bit to go. This bit needs to go. I think that's it. And then we've got like the outer part of the bone. Yeah, that works. Awesome. I'm going to have to refer to this guide because um, I've made it on PC version because it's a lot easier for me to um, go in creative and stuff. So, um, have I got no bread? I've run out of bread, really? Ah, oh, man, I should have prepared. I should have prepared for this episode. Um, and now we need to do pretty much the same thing, but we need to go two across here. 
There we go. Nice. So, we, yeah, we're definitely going to need some bread now because I keep falling off. <laughs> All right. I am terrible at this. Right then. White wool here. And then white wool here. Where else am I putting white wool? I'm putting white wool here, here, here. And then I'm putting a little bit of light gray just here. And what's going to happen is I'm going to have the door in the middle, which I think is this spot right here. And then we're going to walk like underneath the bone and then there'll be kind of like the little den for the, the tiny little puppies inside, which is going to be super cute. It's going to be so cute. And I think it'd be better to build like the white bit of the bone now that we've got this because, um, yeah, it'll be a lot easier. Awesome. Uh, how thin do I want the middle? I want the middle bit like one thin. There we go. Um, how far across? So we need um, just two. Okay. I just need to repeat that on this side. So let's do that. Oh no, wait. This is going to be a different shading. Okay. I'm getting pretty, I'm getting pretty complex on this now. I'm getting good at my old pixel art. I think anyway. I think I am. Uh, let's put that there and this here. And yes, now the rest needs to be white. So I think it's just this part and then all the way across until it meets in the middle. And we're definitely gonna need some more white wool up in here. Not too much because we only need to get to that top bit here and make uh, the little bone shape. But other than that, we should be okay. I think we should be okay with just going back and gathering some wool. So if I just fill in this black part, you'll you'll know where the outline is. And it kind of really fills out with the black part. When the black part is um completely done with that outline, it looks pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. I'm sorry, I'm not going to lie to you. It's just going to look mega cool. Um, right, I need to figure out where this needs to go. So this needs to go. Did you see me tilting my head then like an idiot? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Because it doesn't work that way. I can't see around it if it's not on the screen. <laughs> I have no idea why I did that. Right then, um, I just need to take this piece out and go and shave me some sheep and also possibly get myself some food because I'm running out. I'm running out of food, food right now. Let me just, I was just about to say sprint and go get some. Let me eat this very, very stale piece of cake. It's gonna like stodge in my mouth and taste horrible. Here we go. Ah. Yeah, it tasted horrible. That tasted absolutely horrible. We need to put another celebration cake there because that was for the, the second birthday of Minecraft on the Xbox. And oh, I can sprint now. That was worth it. So worth it. Um, and I just need to punch all these, gather some bread. I'm not gonna punch all of it. I just need a little bit of bread. Please give me some bread. Just need a little bit, not too much, and I might as well plant them again as well. Otherwise, I'm just going to trample it all and waste time as well, which we don't like to do. Let's just pick up all this. How much did we get? 26, that'd do. And just in time, it's turned to night, so we could actually complete this build quite quickly, or at least the outside part. I'm kind of a little bit undecided on the inside. I know I'm going to make it out of wood because it's easier to clean up if they make a mess. But um, apart from that, I haven't really decided what we're going to put in it. And I might let you guys decide because you guys are the experts after all. And it's the TDM pie. We want Team TDM to have a little bit of the input. Let's have a, a midnight snack and then we're going to just um, go to bed. Hopefully the villagers are safe. Hopefully they're not running away from zombies and stuff. Hopefully I made sure that it was all protected. But if not, then we, we should be able to see. Are they okay? They seem to be bunching up a little bit. Um... Are they okay? Are they getting hurt? I hope they're not. Let's go and check quick. Oh my goodness. If there's a drop there, then that means a, a zombie got in. And I haven't lit it up enough. I, I wouldn't be surprised if I haven't lit it up enough. Um, it looks okay. These guys... I don't know how this guy is doing that, but that's impressive. Yeah, good job. We've got a magician up in here. A magician. And for those of you who didn't see the last episode, check it out. Our giant sand castle. That's probably one of my favorite things that we've built. Even though it's just built out of sand, I really, really like it. I guess just simple buildings, please. Simple. What, what did I even do there? That was weird. <laughs> I was supposed to go through here. Right then, let's grab... Um, what was I supposed to grab? I'm completely forgotten now. I was supposed to go and trim my sheep, wasn't I? And then go back and do the build a little bit more. I need to just finish off. I'm not going to need too much wool. If they could bear me like seven, eight pieces, then that will be good. Go on. Do your magic for me, sheep. Come on. Snip, 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 snip. I'm going to snip these ones as well just because. Snip, 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 snip. I think we got enough. I think we did. Um, yes, 13. That's going to be more than enough. Um, and let's go and finish this bad boy off. And then we can start thinking about the inside. Because we're going to have a lot of time to think about it. What do dogs usually have? They have like a thing like Terence does. We're going to need to make a cauldron with um, water in it. Because otherwise they're going to get nice and... Are you a wild dog? 
You're wild. I just heard a zombie. Hmm. See it off, wild dogs. Look, the wild dogs are literally everywhere, and they're they're seriously um just quite quite annoying. <laughs> We're gonna have to tame these guys and put them in the new dog house. There we go. This looks cool. I like it. And I think we just need. We don't even need that much more white wool, do we? We just need one here. Um, let me go back to my plans. I need one next to the grey. Uh, one here, and I think that's it. Yep, nicely done. And now we just need to put the black on there. So, just one here, one here, one here. Um, a bit of dirt here, because dirt never hurts. Well, it does really. It's kind of painful to watch if you build out of dirt. But um, I wonder if you could make anything like really awesome out of dirt. Maybe we should try one day. We should have, with Treoris and Terence and, and the, the clones of the TD Empire, we should have like a, a dirt building contest and see who can build the best thing out of dirt. I think that's a good plan. Um, and I think we're done with the, the bone. I think it, it's going to look pretty snazzy. I've got a shovel that I can get rid of this of. And what's it going to look like? Guys, what's it going to look like? I think it's going to look amazing. Three, two, one. The big reveal. Ah, look at it. It's the big bone. Yes. Got a big piece of pixel bone um, to pretty much complement our, our plans for the house. So I think we should do the base in birchwood planks. We should have bought a door here because we're going to need one. And this goes here. So that's where the door is going to go. And then it's going to go off backwards. I know it sounds a bit weird, but it'll look good because I don't want to have anything near the bone, if you know what I mean. I don't want anything on this level. I'm just going to have it all behind it. So we just put this in and then we can have like a, a window there and have that on both sides. Um, we're probably going to need to visit the orchard again. But, you know, the orchard is literally right next to this. So that's okay. We don't have to walk too far. Um, I've got an axe as well, awesome, and we'll fit glass panes in there, I think that'll look cool, um, will, it, will it look cool? I think it'll look quite awesome, so I think we should make, a, oh we've got a crafting table already, I was going to say we should make a crafting table, we've got one, but we should um, just drop this birch wood because I want to make the doors out of the normal wood, awesome, that worked pretty well, <laughs> I'm surprised. And the door's going to go like that. So hopefully you can see now how it's going to go. I don't want to make it too tall because I don't think the dogs will need to go up there, to be honest. But um, let's fill this out, shall we? I kind of filled out this massive space before we started recording because I thought it would save a lot of time. I had to make like two new shovels because it was quite a hilly area here. But now it's completely flat, which is perfect for building. Absolutely perfect. I could have got all the clones from the TD Empire to just jump up and down at the same time and make sure it was flat. But um, they didn't really want to come out of their marketplaces. Maybe because they knew I was going to get them to do work. But um, they're little scamps, aren't they? Right, what should we plan for the inside? I think maybe like a nice set of carpets. We need a cauldron as well. Um, I don't need this. Why did I put this here? Hmm, it's a little bit weird. Uh, we'll just put that there so the grass can grow. I think... In the plans, yeah, in the plans here, that actually moves a little bit. The, the door isn't in this location. I think it might look better actually like this. So I have it with a little bit sticking out, but not too much. So not the whole thing. So it looks kind of cool. Right then. Does that look better? Hmm. With the windows, I think the previous setup might even look better than that one. So we're going back to the previous. We're making alterations on the go here. Let me take this out, this out, this out, and this out. And yeah, I think that'll look better with the windows and stuff. But right, we need to go, just hop over the vents here and go to the birch garden. Because we need to just chop down some more birch wood. Because we're going to need a lot for this floor. And possibly the walls. I don't think I'm going to make all of it out of birch. But most of it, like the floors and stuff, will be. So I just want to get another kind of a little bit of it. We do need some birch saplings though. I don't think we've got any in here now. Nope. The large chest is empty. The large chest is completely empty. That's terrible. Absolutely terrible. Right then. What's our plan of action now? I don't really need to wait for a sapling because I can just hop over the fence. But um, so I'll do it. I'll do it in a bit. Right then. I think this is looking nice. Quite nice. Right then. Let's make all of those into birch because I don't need. Oh god. Why did I do that? Right then. No, oh goodness, I'm, I'm doing all, all of it wrong. Pick this up, there we go. So this is where the dogs are gonna live. Now I'm not sure how big the inside space should be. 
once we start putting walls up, it will start to get a little bit claustrophobic. So maybe we should have the walls. Um, if we have the walls here, will that be too small? Let's have a look. Let's fill in this side. I don't think it will be. We just need a little bit of length for them to run around, have a great time, and just enjoy life. Because right now they just sit down and do nothing. So we need them to have a place where they can just chill out. So if the, the walls came up here, would that be too small? So let me just... Um, I should bring one of the dogs over to test it. I should do that. And then we're going to tame some more dogs as well before the end of the episode, even if it's not finished. Right then. If we walk up to this, totter into here, and... No, I don't think that's too small at all. We just need to level out the back, because otherwise it's not going to be too nice, is it? I don't know how far I want it to go back. Maybe three more? And we'll put it back on it. And look, the dogs have come to it already. They think it's a real bone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Punk. It's not actually a real bone. I need to call one of the dogs Punks as well, because that would be amazing. And to help myself out, I could even make signs to remind myself which dog is which, because I can remember some of them. Let me test it now. There's Casper, and I think he's the light collar. And then we've got um, Oliver, who's the dark blue collar. And then we've got Olivia, who's obviously the pink collar. I think it's because we've got two blue collars. In hindsight, that wasn't the best choice to do two blue collars. But that's what Team TDM wanted. So that's what they got. A light blue collar. Right. Is this going to be too small? It's good that the dirt at the back is kind of making a wall. So let's have a look. Walk in. And yeah, I think that's a good back. So we need, I don't think I've got any iron on me. Damn it. Uh, I'll just make a, a stone one. All right, let's make a stone shovel. Get rid of these flowers because I don't need them. I'm sorry, flowers. I'm sorry, I don't need you for now. Actually, I know what I can do with you. Right there, there we go. Let's make use of the flowers we accidentally, um, what's it called, adopted. We adopted those flowers. And I think we're just about going to hang over the back of some water, which is strange. It's going to be very strange, but it should be okay because actually I... Oh, careful. I don't want to hit that dog. That dog will get seriously mad at me. We don't want to hit the dog, okay? We just want to... Uh, there we go. Get in here. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to attack me because I dropped him from a height. I'm sorry. You were in the way. You were in the way. I think we should adopt that one and call it Punk. Definitely. Um, I don't need this here because I'm going to make it kind of rounded on the outside. And this should work perfectly. We just need to dig out the middle part now. Just so we've got a, a floor. And we could we have enough to make it or will we need to go and make another tree? But to be honest, I need to go and put down some more trees anyway. So that we've got all the birchwood planks ready to go. I need a super shovel. I'm really tempted to make a diamond shovel and then enchant it. But one, I'm really bad at keeping levels, and two, diamonds are sparse right now. I don't have that many diamonds. I think, actually, how many do I have? I, I think I have at least five, so I guess a diamond shovel wouldn't be too bad, but I'm pretty sure it would run up really quickly, which is why I, I'm kind of against doing it, because now that we have anvils and stuff as well, we will be able to repair our diamond stuff, which is something I'm really interested in doing. So that's what I'm saving it for. Right then, that looks kind of cool with those flowers outside. Uh, but what we're going to do now is sort out the rest of it. So I just need to kind of build up the walls. And I think we had almost a perfect amount of birch with them. That was, that was perfect, wasn't it? We just go and grab some glass and also check out if we've got any saplings here. Yes, we have. Awesome. Got quite a few, actually. We got four in total. Not bad. Not bad at all. Put one there. Let's add one there and there as well. And head home for a quick nap. And then I'll meet you back at the orchard when I've gathered a lot more birch wood. I'll see you there. Right then, you join me trying to grab some more glass. I need some glass panes just to fill it up. And I also did the whole orchard thing. And there we go. Glass panes. Instantly. Awesome. And I got 64 plus 8. So what is that? Quick maths. Quick maths. It's 72. Um, is this pig supposed to be there? And while I was building the, or while I was near the orchard, I keep seeing wolves flocking around this bone. It's like they know it's a bone. It's, it's really weird. And I'm not sure why. They must be able to, like, I must have had infused the wool with a, a bone taste maybe. And they can smell it from miles around. But there we go. That's what it looks like. I'm not going to lie. I do really like it. I really, really like it. And what I'm going to do, I think I'm just going to box them. 
Uh, I don't really think I'm gonna make anything else. Um, I will, of course, have pains because otherwise that's a little bit, a little bit of animal cruelty, which is, which is not good. We need to give them sunlight and stuff. Um, and I might not even have enough pains for this part. I might not even have enough wood for this part, but we'll see in a second. We'll see. And I'm not sure how high I'm going to make it either. But by the end of this... Why did I just do that? I just knocked it out and then, and then put it straight back in. Why, why did I do that? Why do I do any of these things? Um, here and then across the back as well. Here we go. This is working. We don't want a view of um, that though, do we? We don't want a view of dirt. So I'm going to have to level that out when we're done building. So that the dogs actually have a view. Otherwise they're going to be stuck... Still in the dark. Even though they got windows, it's still going to be dark, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, let's um, grab these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, I'm not going to be able to fit any more in there. Oh, no. Uh, let's go one, two, three, four, um, five, and that's it. Look at that. It's like all just four little prongs off the end. And the same with this one. Right then. This needs more panes and a roof. That's pretty much it. I'm gonna make these into slabs because I think the slabs will work better. And it saves so much wood. And I think we can do that. Yeah, there we go. Oh, such a good tip. Just to, if you only need a, a flat part, then use these, especially for a roof because a roof always takes up a lot of wood. So good tip. You can literally, I think it's six for three. So you really do save a ton of wood and it's really, really worth it. So I'll show you how that works now. And what we're going to do is add like a little bit of glowstone so that when it's dark they still have light uh, and stuff like that. So that'd be really good. And I think we will finish this today. And then in the comment section below, I want you to comment what I should add to the dog section. And don't say more dogs because we will get more dogs. We'll get some next time. But um, actually, we might have time to get some this time around and move them all in. And then we're going to add the toys and the obstacles and stuff next time. So stuff like that, I think you should suggest. Just stuff that they're going to have loads of fun with while we're off out adventuring and building. And, and stuff like that. I think it's just, it just needed, isn't it? It's just needed because we don't want to leave the dogs by themselves. Um, I think I might need to make all of these into slabs. Um, actually, not all of them. I don't need all of them, but... We need like half a roof's worth, don't we? And then we need to... I'll do all the dirt and stuff off camera because I don't want, I don't want to waste time doing that when I can bring dogs in here. Uh, let's... This should be fine. Yeah, this should be fine. Uh, there, there, there. And then we're going to go off and collect some dogs. I was really tempted while I was um, doing the birch tree stuff because bone meal isn't nerfed in this version of Minecraft. You can literally grow a tree with just one piece of bone meal, which is so good. It really is. And I can see why they nerfed it. But um, I was going to make all of my bones into bone meal and that would have been a terrible idea. Please don't do this. Three. Three blocks. Three blocks is all I needed. Let's just hop over to the orchard for a second. Here we go. Uh, we need to take down this tree. Take this one down. We should have enough planks then. Awesome. And we actually built this a lot quicker than I thought. I thought this would take ages, but apparently it's not going to take that long at all. It's going to take one episode. I thought it maybe would have taken two. I guess technically it is two because we're going to have to add all the insides. But apart from that, we did good. We done good. We done good, guys. Uh... This should be enough. We only needed three. One, two, three. Now we are completely boxed in. So now we should probably move the dogs in here. And to do that, let's let's move the dogs we already have into here. And then we'll go off and, and find some more. They've been hanging around the tasty, tasty bone. Let's have a look where they are. Most of them, I think they're all in the house. I think so anyway. Oh, there's a cow here. Why is this cow here? Where have you wandered in from, friend? Where have you wandered in from? <laughs> it's a bit angry that I um, hit him there, but who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? Let's grab... Um, who is that? I don't even know who that was. This is... This is Oliver. So come on, Oliver. Oh, and then there's Olivia, I think, up here. So the other one was Casper. So all of these three guys need to come with me. Come with me, guys. It's going to be an amazing trip, I promise you. Um, don't eat the cow, though, please. Don't. Please don't. Or the pig. You, you can't touch them. They're, they're friends. They're our friends at the moment. Let's take a trot over here. And I also need to make a path that goes this way, this way, this way, and then this way, straight into the bone. And what do you think, guys? What do you think? I think they like it. Their tails are wagging. I think they find it really, really nice. So come in, guys. Feel free to just pop through the door. You know, 
just like normally. Oh, <laughs> yep, that works too. You could jump in through the window if you like. So this is the new home. No, come over here. There we go. Olivia, don't do this to me. There we go. Beautiful. Right then. That's our three dogs in there. And it's turning to night, but we need to go and grab our bones anyway. Let's grab this because it's, it's an eyesore when we don't need it. Um, so let's have a quick sleep. Grab some bones and then go and find them dogs. And I think they were just behind the big bone or up there. They might be up there because they seem to hang around there. I don't know why. Maybe they're like rabid wolves. But <laughs> we'll, we'll be very careful when we try to get them. It'll be okay. We can also check on our villagers from our balcony window. Which I like because if there's a zombie in there, I'm going to be down there like a shot. I might even burst through the window like some kind of action hero. And, and slay all the zombies and save the villagers. Right then, bones. Uh, we've got, wow, well, 61. I think that, I think I might do it. I think I might be okay. Let's go and tame some more dogs, shall we? Let's go and have a look at um, the dogs available or rabid wolves, whichever they are, whichever they are. There's one, I spotted one. Hey, hey buddy. Oh, there's one on there as well. Look, this is like an actual wolf pack. There's, there's four. Oh my goodness, there's four of you. Come here. How many are you gonna take? Seven, eight, nine, 10. Is that 9, 10, 11? 11 bones! That's... Oh my goodness, that took, oh, that took loads! Good job I've slain loads of skeletons. Oh my goodness, these guys are taking long. So one, two... Oh, one! That one was good. Nice little one, and one over here. One, and again! Just one. Sweet. So we used about 20 or so bones for four dogs then. I guess that's a good deal, because these ones... These two took a lot of bones, and then the rest seemed to be okay. So follow me, new guys! Follow me. Yeah, you, you brush off because you fell in the lake. The dirty, dirty lake. Actually, that's a man-made lake, so that's going to be perfectly clean. And let me introduce you to your new home. What do you think? What do you think? Guys, I think they enjoy it. I think they enjoy it. They're going to have to burst through the window as well. Then we're going to have a ton of dogs in here. Absolutely loads. We're going to have seven in total. And they're, so, they're all teleporting through the window. Not what I had in mind, but you know. This one's gone like, kind of dark as well. Are you upset? Are you okay? I think he's okay. Right then, so, no, sit, there we go. They're trained already. Let's see if we can go and find a couple more before the, the, the video ends, which will be in any second now. And we've got seven dogs. We started with three, now we have seven. Let me just, oh, there's one here. How many are you going to take? One. Oh my goodness, these, these, uh, these, some of these wolves are really easy. Some of them are quite hungry, but the other ones seem to be okay. Um, I think we could end out with eight. Let's have a quick scan of the area. I don't think there's any more around here, do you? Or is this one? No, he's got a collar on, it's okay. <laughs> right, let's head him back to the house, the dog house. And it's gonna have a nice like overlook of this lake as well, which I might turn into a garden because they need somewhere to stretch their legs in the grass. So hopefully that other dog is following me. He's probably gonna zip in here any second now. I didn't make him sit, did I? I'm pretty sure I didn't, he should be over here. Hey! Do you not want to come over here? I'll go and find him in a minute. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope the oh there he is, there he is. Look, sit down. There we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, perfect, awesome. So we got five more dogs today and a brand new dog house. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you enjoy the design for the house. I think it turned out pretty well in the end. And if you did, then please leave a big fat thumbs up. And also, if this happens to be the first video you've seen by me, then please do subscribe and join Team TDM today for daily Minecraft videos. Again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!